Pink ladies, T-Birds, just happen to be watchers of my shit. My name is Jimmy Pink. I think we got a Wizard of Oz situation going on here. So, sorry I'm late. Life. But, I'm here to review... Um, Steven Universe, um, episode 5, I'm sorry, season 5, episode 25, Legs from Here to Home World. I got some theories. Now, I'm no Slice of Otako, I'm no Swaggy Thunder, I'm no Round Table, I'm none of these things. What I do know is writing and foreshadowing and television tropes. So as you're seeing in the intro, I think we got a Wizard of Oz situation coming. Okay, a couple of things I noticed about this episode. White hasn't left home world in eons. Pink Diamond shipped his legs. To quote um, Wu-Tang, the Diamond Authority is like Voltron and White Diamond just happened to be the head. Their ships reflect that. So... Pink on the bottom, blue arm, yellow arm, white torso. The reason I say I'm feeling a little bit of Wizard of Oz, you have your main character, Steven, with three friends that are actually from the place, technically. Um, you have Amethyst, Pearl, Garnet. Everybody wants to talk about White Diamond is glowing and her pearl is glowing. Those motherfuckers is holograms. Hear me out. They are holograms. The White Diamond we saw is not White Diamond. That is a projection of White Diamond. You're not going to tell me nothing different. Okay? Now, in the projection, she's beautiful. She's got the gown. She got on sandals. We ain't never seen nobody with sandals on. They actually got toenails and everything. Perfect, prim, proper. This pearl. Face is all cracked. Jim is cool. Jim is in the same place as Pink Diamond, which a lot of people think that this is Pink Diamond's pearl because the pearls are always in the same place. Um, but I don't think that that's Pink Diamond's pearl. I think that with the way the homeworld looks all scattered, some shit went down on homeworld. That pearl was jacked up, and that's what she remembers, so that is a projection. You see everything is appearing out of nowhere. The pearl slides into the wall. That is a projection. What I think is that White Diamond is paralyzed. I don't think White Diamond can move. However, I think her power is projection and light manipulation so she can create these holograms. I don't think White Diamond can move. I don't think she can walk. Um, and I think that is a large part of why that is reflected, that pink diamond is the legs. Also, yeah, technically, because their ships obviously form a body. Obviously, I'm sure y'all figured that out already. And you can learn to walk on your arms if you have no lower half. But if blue diamond and yellow diamond are both gone... <laughs> Or they're doing their thing and conquering their worlds and the legs are not there. You can't really move around with just a torso and a head, can you? I think that we got a Wizard of Oz situation. I think those are holograms. I think White Diamond is not... I don't even think White Diamond looks like what that projection looked like. I don't. I really think we're seeing some Wizard of Oz parallels. Um, something else, Garnet, as we know, who can see the future. They say, is everything going to be okay? Greg asked, Stephen will be okay. So either that means Stephen's going to be the only one that survives, or some kind of way, once they get their magic, they're going to be able to pull that stone out, and Stephen is going to be able to be a regular kid, but it's still going to be a pink diamond. One of two. Um... But then again, that's kind of a there's no place like home type of thing where the rest of them are going to have to stay back on 
own world or something, and Stephen is going to, there's no place back home, Stephen is going to go back to being just a human. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Business stays behind. We see Lapis and um, Peridot are still poofed. So I'm sure we're going to see them in their new Crystal Gem regalia with their stars and everything. And I can't wait for that. Bismuth breaking it down to Steven like, I'm not putting my stone on the anvil. I'm not doing that shit, man. And Steven's like, what? You're you going into the lines then, but you're a line too. To the point where Bismuth like, already know what's up. Like, you going to be all right because you a diamond. The rest of y'all, though, y'all ain't coming back. Y'all might really not make it back. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. Like I said, I'm not one of these people that I sit down and break down Steven Universe every goddamn five seconds like some of these other channels. But just watching it and knowing what I know about foreshadowing and also knowing that Steven Universe does pay a lot of homage to other things, I feel like we got a Wizard of Oz situation and I feel like White Diamond might just be as little as Pink Diamond was, if not smaller, and just this projection is big. Or she is unable to walk because her diamond is damaged. Something. But those are my thoughts on the episode. So thank you all for waiting for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to those who donated through my PayPal. Thank you to the Pink Ladies and T-Birds. Because without me, there would be no... Without me. Without you, there would be no channel. Real quick. I forgot to throw this in. Not a fusion, but as some of y'all that watch my channel know, that y'all do know that I have an evil twin sister named Envy Adams. And Envy did not have a gem until now. So I would like to introduce to you Black Lace Onyx. Black Lace Onyx um, used to be a homeworld gem. She was high up on the court. And now she's a crystal gem. So you got both versions there. So, once again, thank you to my patrons, thank you to PayPal donations, thank you to the Pink Ladies and T-Birds. If you're not a Pink Lady or a T-Bird, real easy to become one. Click Sailor Jimmy at the end of the video, or go down below, click that subscribe. Might want to hit that notification bell, too, because since we never know when the hell we're going to get a Steven Universe, you'll never know when I do another Steven Universe review. That's how you know, by being part of the Notification Squad. Join the House of Grease. So, thank you so much for watching. Keep it crazy. Deuces. Attack is blazing, I'm so amazing Chip animation, the anime on your cartoon station So fulfilling, no adults Swimming for about an hour Revealing power, unorthodox amongst these cowards Full transformation for Optimus Prime Transformation, a good vibration from